I'm going to show you how to do the weight of chain side quest and also how to get all the chests and all the special items while doing it. So the weight of chains can be done the very first time you go to Svartalheim and you go over to this island that's kind of faded out right now on the map and on the map discovered on this exact like save slot. But uh, there's a spot right here where it tells you to go left for main story, right for side quest. Just go straight north and you'll land uh, right there. And you go here. There's also a north exit from this island. Anyway, you'll head over here past the shop. You'll go over to this urn and you'll blow it up. And then you'll climb up onto here to get the first hint of it. Uh, you might be able to skip this step actually, but this is the intended way. So I'm just going to show you the full, like how the devs intended for you to do the whole thing. Uh, but you might actually be able to skip this step, which you could try if you want to. But anyway, uh, this step is you go up here and you go over to this door and interact with it, which will start dialogue with Mimir. And he talks about going to near an, to an island near the geyser to get a key for the door. So now what you need to do is leave this island. So we're going to backtrack down. And then we're going to leave off the north end of this island. So I'm going to go over to this boat convenient that there's just boats on every single island for some reason all right and then we're gonna go from here to the north and you'll see the geyser quote in Whoa, quotes that geyser was huge. and yeah. now we're going to head over to here door. and we're gonna park the boat right here all right so this will actually get the quest to pop up in case you want to track it the key to that but regardless uh you need somewhere. to uh i to get my axe gotta blow this up Drop and swap to the chain because now there's going to be these things but you don't actually have to really kill that many it's, it's if you want to go faster you can go here fun fact though uh you can actually farm the um little rat things for xp uh but after killing a certain number of them uh they will stop spawning also i that, is there one more for me to kill never mind okay yeah so you blow that up and then you come over here and then you're going to go over to here and you're going to blow this up then you're going to go over to here and go over to this. And this is the part that might stump a lot of people because it's for me. You have to go down right here. I was, I, I literally ran back down the island, back up, back down, back up, and was like, what do I do? Um, anyway, you're going to head over this way now. And then you're going to get up right here first. And then we'll go to the other part second. So you get up here. There's another one of those nests. Again, if you want to farm a quick, like, 300 XP, you can just kill them instead of killing the nest. But otherwise... Um, just kill the nest and you'll get that XP father. and be done. All right, so now we're going to take this and we're going to lower it, then hold L2. Looks like it was free. Uh, hold L2. Oh, no, my axe. Sorry. The triangle with my axe back. Throw the axe. I was wondering what was going on. All right. Do that. Now, there's two things to do here. Uh, the main way is to continue on, but also there's a shortcut now that we unlock right here, and there's an item down there that you'll... Not that you'll necessarily want to get but i want to show you where every single thing is so let me make sure that you don't miss it so when you bring it down like that that will allow you to loot this item right here which is just hack silver but still hack silver all right so then we're gonna head back uh, inner completionist right there like that's you know literally get everything all right so now we're gonna head back being everything crazy for money all right, so then you're going to go over to here while it's still frozen. Make sure it's still frozen because it will time out eventually, I think. And then we're going to head over to here. And then we can climb our ways, climb our way horizontally over to this. And then we get up on top of this and then we pull, call back the axe to bring us up. And then we can look down right here, press X, break through here. And then we have to kill this thing, which I'm going to skip me killing this because it takes a little while. All right, after you defeat the boss, you can blow up these vases if you want for some money, but otherwise you just open up this chest over here and it will have the key in it, as well as some hack silver. So you grab the key. That's the key we're looking for. Then you're done now for this part for now. You're gonna open this to get back out. And now we're gonna head back to the island we came from to go open that Whatever door. I'm not gonna make you watch the whole process. It I takes long to get back there, just like in 10 or 30 seconds. Me. But I just wanna make sure you know where to go from this exact spot. So you're gonna head here and you can see it right there, almost directly south. Uh, right there. All right, so once you're on the island, you go right, you go back up this, and we're going to go back up to the locked door, which will lead us into another room, which will also unlock a shortcut, which will let us go back up there whenever we want, which is kind of a useless shortcut because as far as I'm aware, there's never a time you'll ever return there, literally ever, but regardless, there's a shortcut. So, going to open this up now. 
very aggressively. Okay, they're gonna go into here, yeah. gonna kick this down. This is the shortcut, so you can go up here faster. Then we're gonna go up here and interact with this. This will lift up the gong, and then you have to press square to make Artreus shoot an arrow at it. Make it ring a really weird thing that it rings. Um, and then what'll happen is, spoiler, uh, this will happen. So a giant whale monster so raises out of the water. And now our objective is to free the whale monster. And best way to get back down is by the shortcut. You can just jump on down. And then we're going to sail out there and unchain it. But I'll actually show you me sailing to make sure you know where to go to get up onto the whale, even though you'd probably figure it out eventually. So we're going to head over this way. The first location that we're going to go to in order to free up the whale and now start getting actual chests, like actual good loot, is we're going to go over to this flag. And then we're going to get up right here. Okay, really? That was weird. Okay. Whatever, though. All right. Get up right here. Get up right here. This creature. Okay, now we're gonna climb up here. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And Long I didn't climb. know what it was like to be And then once we get up here, I, if I remember right, we can kill some enemies. Nothing to occupy your mind but yeah, pain. so we're gonna get up here. I gotta kill some enemies. I'm gonna skip that. Okay, once the enemies are defeated, you can head over this way and then blow up this fire pot. I don't know why my sound broke really bad. Okay, hold up, I gotta fix my sound, I think. Okay, I fixed the sound. All right, so now you're gonna go up to this thing, interact with this, this is the first restraint. Press left on the left thumbstick in order to break it. Then the whale will lift the fin, right. and you'll be instructed to change to the axe and break that chain. So hit that, that breaks that. And now they'll direct your attention to how rocks broke over there. They're trying to tell you to go over there. And I actually don't remember if we need to go there right away or not. I think we do. But either way, we're going over there, check. Pretty sure it's where we go next. So now we go over to here, jump across this. We can't break these gold rocks just yet. Yeah, this is where we go. Uh, there's some enemies here for us to fight. Hold on a sec, it's actually a quick fight, so I'll just, I'll just leave this in the video. Okay, so now you're gonna climb up right here. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. I think so. Okay. Now we get over to here. Here is a lore for you to grab. Just gonna grab it real fast. Even though I shouldn't grab it, making you guys wait. Sorry about that. Alright, and then we can jump across that, but real fast. Let's do this first. Climb up right here. I can't remember which one we're supposed to do first. I always forget which one is the side thing, which one's the main thing. So we're going to go up here first, though. And come over here. We're going to jump down right here. There's an item right here. I think it was just hack silver, honestly. But might as well grab it. Then we're going to head over to here. And jump across this. And there's a chest at the end of the way over here. And a purple lore item on the ground. So first we're gonna grab the chest. Probably just rawhide or, forged, rawhide or forged iron. Yeah, forged iron, some hack silver. You can blow up these for money if you want. And then there's this right here, which is another piece of lore. And from here, you can see there's a chest down there. Well, we won't be able to get to that for just a little bit. So we will, we will get it though. All right, so we're gonna head back down, jump back down. Now we're gonna run down this way. We're gonna jump down right here. And now we gotta go back down the way we came. Okay, now we're gonna head the way we're supposed to go, which is over here. Gonna grab this chest, which just has hack silver in it. Then we're gonna go over here, kill more enemies, which I'm going to skip so you don't have to watch. All right, once that's done, you can go over here and kick down this chain. And I think that was all that was up in this spot. And yeah, just double checking because it's hard to remember every little detail. All right, I think that was everything here. Now we drop down here. There's gonna be another rat nest. Um, after we do this, it'll appear. So we're gonna chop this one, move left on the left thumbstick again. Swap to the axes as soon as it lets you. If you could. Okay. Get that one. Whiff. 
Do it again. All right, break that. As soon as I do that, those rocks will break. It'll reveal on one of those rat nests. So again, if you want to farm a quick 300 XP and your golden tier challenge for this enemy in the beast tier or whatever it's called, then uh, kill them instead of killing the thing. Otherwise, you just kill that immediately and don't really care. All right. Also, while you're here, don't forget to open this up. You will need this opened as a shortcut uh, in order to do 100% of this, which we'll do in just a moment. But first, I'm going to grab this. Well, actually, before we grab this, know that there is a raven over there, which we can't get yet, but we will get to in a moment. So now we're going to take this and we're going to chuck it over there. And then we're going to grab another one of these. And we're going to head over here and we are going to throw it down there which will open up the dock for the tail then we're gonna go down here and loot this inside of this is probably rawhide or forged iron uh yeah rawhide and i don't think there was an item down here yeah there's nothing down there all right then we're gonna head back across here and we're going to grab one more of these now in order to get those chests that we saw earlier so you're going to take one of these, you're going to run all the way down here. This creature. Does that surprise you? And then you're going to jump across this to get over made. to this pile of whale dung or whatever this is. And then we're going to jump across here. We're going to open up this chest. But wait, there's more. So we've got forged iron or rawhide probably. Oh, slag, which is way better. Okay. Then you're going to go down here. You're going to go through here, which will lead you to another chest. All right, so here is another chest. This one, I think, just has hack silver. Yeah, these just have hack silver in them. Then from here, don't forget to kill the bird. One less feathery spy. Okay. Then, gonna go back the way we came. And now it's time to go to the tail because we've freed both the fins. We just need to free the tail now. So, gonna jump back across and we're gonna head over this way to get out of here. In case you've gotten lost, you can just follow what I'm doing now. So you can go over here and drop drop down right here. You have to climb back down. Gonna go left and then down. And then after this, uh, you'll be back at the dock. So now what you need to do is you need to go around the whale. So from this point, I think the fastest way to do this is gonna be I from the back side of the whale. I'd hope so we're going to head this way and grab that free rawhide on the way. Uh, go around this rope, go over to here. And here is that dock that we freed up just a moment ago. This is where we were up there. So we're going to stop at this dock now. And we're going to climb up this ledge and then fight a ton of enemies. Let me show where the ledge is real fast. Also, there's an item over here. Just think hack silver again, if I remember right. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to climb up this, and there's some enemies up here. I'm going to skip the climb and the killing the enemies because it's a long climb and a long fight. But yeah, you're going to up here and fight a bunch of enemies. All right, you'll come up right here to fight a bunch of enemies. I already killed them. Um, after that, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here for the optional stuff. So you go over here. There's some hack silver in a chest. Then after that, you can open up this, which leads you back to the center that we were at just a little bit ago. Then, if we've opened, if you've already opened up this door, you'll go through here and you'll grab one of these. You'll take this, you'll head back, and we're gonna throw this. So we get right to here, and then I, can we actually? I think we can grapple across. Yeah, we can grapple across with this in our hand. Then we're going to throw this at this in order to open up the chest. And this chest again, probably rawhide, four iron, slag. Let's see what this one has. I don't remember. Rawhide. All right, I'm gonna climb up to here now. Go up to here, up to this. We're gonna cut this, just like before. Press left on the left thumbstick. Then, whenever it lets you do it, you swap to the axes. Oh, well. uh, actually, you don't need to do it just yet. Uh, you need to go over here to get a vantage point on the tail. So, yeah, jump across this. I want to make sure I'm not forgetting rope. anything. I don't think I am. All right, we're good. Jump across this, and then you'll be in this area. And now in order to open up this area permanently, you can uh, back up from this and hit X from a distance. Break that open so you can get up here anytime you want. And then other than that, I don't think there's anything in there. There's a chest right here. I forget what it has. Oh, that's right. This is an actual legendary chest and it has a whispering slab crafting component. Okay. 
Now we're gonna change to the axe. Gonna free the tail. Actually, no, I had a round aggravation shield attachment. That's what it was. You're free. Which was a uh, high luck chance to grant a rage burst when pairing, but then on your shield. Unless it's random what drops. I don't I don't think so. I don't know. All right, so now he's free, but he's not gonna go anywhere for whatever reason. So you're gonna go over here. You're gonna come down this chain. Whenever he's done talking, you Can can't you do until he's done talking. Okay. Face face, so now we're gonna come down here, get back into this boat, and now you need to go around the left side of the whale. It's, I mean, you, you can go around the right side too, but then it, you know, it's faster if you go around the left side of the whale right here. So now what we need to do is they're gonna have a whole dialogue about the whale and why isn't it moving, blah, blah, blah. Let me go look at it and then maybe we'll understand. So you're gonna go all the way up here to its eye and the only eye you can actually access because his head's actually twisted left for some reason you can access this eye they go up to this eye and you press x and then there will be a whole little dialogue here cutscene stuff uh and that will finish the quest which really quick though um let me see oh i can't yeah during the cinema i can't check i wanted to see what the reward was but it's just xp i think is the only thing you get for this you don't get any items or anything um, and you get all the items that you found doing it that I showed you, but I think that's more or less the end of the quest So on, you great again, beast. they have a dialogue about Shoot. it. They can't get the creature to go Mirror mirrors in like denial and stuff and all that um, So that's the quest guys that is the uh, whatever in chains no, quest. I remember what it was called. I said at the beginning. I've already forgotten the name of it. it. And um, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you get all the chests, get all the items. I hope I didn't miss any items. I think I got them all. Um, so yeah, if you're trying to 100% your game, even beyond 100%, get all like the, you know, the basic chests that get pack silver and stuff. Uh, then hopefully this video will help you out. Now you know how to not only do the in chains quest, but also how to get every chest and item along the way. So hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully now you can get one step closer to your 100% run in God of War Ragnarok.